This data center in Hokkaido is going back to nature to find green solutions. It's using one of the most abundant natural resources here in the north of Japan, especially during the winter. White data center is using the water to be able to use 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 the snow cooled data center is a world leader in sustainability. Its power usage effectiveness is close to the ideal of one. This is the data center of the energy quality. This is the data center of the data center. The PUE is the data center of the data center. 1.09 というのは私が知る限り世界でも聞いたことがないぐらいの効率性というふうに言われています。Aside from a much lower energy bill, the center is also run on circular economy principles. Heat released from the servers is used to help produce food items, including premium fare like rare mushrooms and shellfish. ここでですね、空気が温め,温められることで、まあ、野菜は一年中ですね、暖かい気温で育てられる、水もですね、一定の温度を保たれるということになります。まあ、そこでですね、海産物ではウニ、アワビ、野菜では小松菜、ほうれん草、トマト、コーヒー豆といったものを栽培しました。これはもう実験ということで、販売はできなかったので、自分たちで食べましたただ大きくなるまでに少し時間がかかるのでそのビジネス的にウニとアワビはあまりそぐわないということが分かりましたそこでですねもっと短期間で育って高い値段で売れる、えー、海産物にまあ変える実験をしているということになります The company is hoping to expand its byproducts including diversifying to using melted snow for cosmetic products With data centers being crucial enablers of our digital economies and lifestyles, countries around the world are looking for ways to make these centers more sustainable. This is a particular challenge in countries like Singapore that lack access to natural resources for renewable energy. One of the largest operators, Equinix, is exploring the use of hydrogen as a green fuel source, but the company is realistic about the road ahead. Hydrogen generation on an industrial scale remains several years away from being commercially viable, making it imperative to assess and adopt alternatives even as global R&D efforts continue. So piloting hydrogen in our data centers in Singapore currently remains a challenge. Storage and transportation issues in a populated dense area need to be resolved. Equinix has launched a research project to investigate how fuel cells can be used in tropical climates. The goal is to meet the rising demand for data while allowing operators to reduce carbon emissions. The greenhouse gas emission savings that we're looking at, um, clearly, you know, 100% would, would be the dream state. You know, however, I think um, based on the unknowns around hydrogen uh, to begin with, if we can hit 80%, that would be a, a key objective. With industry stakeholders working to make their operations more sustainable, experts say that greener data centers are also a long-term market opportunity. Companies are increasingly looking for green bonds and sustainability links loans as a way to meet their ESG targets. It forces the companies to spend their money on environmental projects and impose in financial penalties for failing to meet their stated goals. In 2021, Asia Pacific became the second most prolific green bonds market after Europe. Asia Pacific sold 185 billion US dollars of a green debt in 2021. China leads the field, followed in joint second place by South Korea and Japan.
with a more sustainable, uh, newer, more efficient data center. Uh, we are looking at you know long term um, cost savings in operations, especially on the utility cost front. Uh, that that would be the main payoff. The second payoff, increasingly, a lot of your MNCs, a lot of your end users, uh, they have uh, set their own targets to to reduce their their carbon footprint and emissions. So with a sustainable, a a, a more green uh, data center facility, um, the landlord would be uh, better able to actually attract more tenants to to retain their tenants. Um, you know, and and also at the same time, you know. Uh, hopefully they can command higher rents for, for some of these uh, better spec data centers as well. But back in Hokkaido, there's a reality check about the sustainability of green solutions. It may be that a change of mindsets and tighter regulatory conditions will be what is needed to give businesses that extra push. ただ脱炭素するとお金がいくら儲かるとそこがむすびついてないんですねただ脱炭素した方がいいよねというのはみんな言ってるただでもまあこっちの方が東京の方が便利だしとかですねこっちの方が安いしっていうところになかなかその負